Welcome to an episode of Fish Central. Today I want to talk about easy ways to fish during the day because I used to have trouble doing that until I started using these baits. Um, well the first option is you can buy live bait and like worms or a shiner and you can put a drop a uh, split shot on them and drop them all the way to the bottom, crank it in slow. So sometimes you get some bass, perch, trout with those. But now I want to talk about lures. So there's some certain lures you're going to want to have. For example, this one is a Rapala Minnow. It's a shallow runner, so it goes about four to six feet, and if or two to three, but if you let it sink, it'll go four to six feet deep. And you just want to reel it in and jig it, and it kind of like bellies up like a minnow, and you kind of want to get it like around the docks, or if you have a boat, try to put a sinker on it, drop it to the bottom, and just jig it. And this thing works really well. I've used it on the kayaks, just drop it all the way, not all the way to the bottom, but about three quarters of the way, and let them jig them. So this works really well. Next, if you're fishing from shore, you're gonna want a deep diver. This is just one of the de my deep divers. It's not like I'm not saying you need to get this color, but this one I like particularly like this one. It's got rattles, and it used to have a little bit of a scent to it. It's got a small lip, so it. I think I don't really like lips on the crankbaits, but it works well for me. And it's sink, it just it sinks and you crank them in slow and catch small mouth. Usually small mouth. Sometimes I've gotten a couple large mouth on it, but this works real well. Next you're gonna want your typical spinner. And then there's this one I just created and it's it was just a little jig. And then I just put a spinner on it. And then it flashes real well in the day. And you can see the uh, the metals really clearly through the water. And usually if there's a bass, they'll just completely bite on it. But sometimes the problem is with spinners, that they'll bite onto the metal instead of the hook, the skirt. And you feel a pull, but you won't actually get the fish. And I like this one a lot, because it's a Colorado spinner and an Idaho spinner. And it's just, I've caught them a couple of bass in a day with this, just a couple of hours, or about an hour fishing, just three bass, that was nice. And then the last one, the, see you want to cast these on the docks, or you go to deep waters on a kayak or boat or something, and you sink them all the way to the bottom and jig them, they have a scent on them, or these do, and they have this tail. So this tail, it's like a Mr. Twister type thing. It'll spin. And it flicks around. And even sunfish will bite the tail because it's just it's just like they can't resist it. But if a bass sees this and you see a bass in it, they're most likely bite, uh, bite it. But sometimes you need to just keep annoying it with it and then they'll bite it. And it's great where you try to get it under docks if you're on shore or on a boat you try to take the sinker off put it on a dock and just kind of reel it and crank it in slow and it just it works so well for me this is my best daytime lure i fish from shore and around some docks and you put this in the docks and they just completely they can't resist it so there are many other lures but these are my favorites for fishing in the day I hope you liked it, and bye-bye.